So hi everyone. Hi everyone. Today welcome to today's class. So we'll be learning about a, a small wall hanging. Okay, not big one. I think you've seen this, but I know it's you might have not thought about it using paper. Okay, so we can improvise our work later on. But you know we can do different kind of things also. Okay, so let's learn the basics today of this wall. Okay, of this uh yeah, of this wall hanging. Cool. All right. So I hope you guys got all these things: glue, scissors, sketch pens. Everybody has it. Some of you has colored. I got white, and since I wanted to paint it. So I thought, like maybe I'll make the basics first. You can also use colored paper, or you can paint accordingly. Okay, so it's totally up to you. But even if you want to paint, you can do it after class. But now we just gonna learn the basics. So you can use the white paper now. All right, if you want, or oh, colored paper is fine. Okay, so let's start. First, I want you all to take a white A4 sheet. Okay, just a one paper. And move all the things aside. We are not going to paint. We can you can paint later to improvise what you have made later. Okay, after class. But for now, just take your take a white A4 sheet. All right. Those who know, your first step will be that we are going to make a circle. All right. So those who know to use a compass can use a compass. Those who do not know, you can use any small round thing. Okay, so I'm gonna use. I got this, you know, my mug cover. So I'm just gonna take that as a round thing. Or if you have a, you can, you know how to use a compass, you can go ahead with that. All right, or anything round. Okay. And plus, you need a small one more circle. So I'm going to use a coin. So if you have a coin or anything small, okay, you can use that. So two things, all right? Just two round circles. All right. The middle one, you can make it as. Big or small, you want it will be according to your wish, okay? But try to make it a bit bigger, not too small, okay? So this big circle we want one, okay? One or two, okay? Depending on your work, we'll need one. But if you while you improvise it, if you want to do anything else, I will be telling you during the class, so you can make two later, okay? But this one, the small one, we have to make many circles. All right. So first, let's start with the big one. Okay. I want you to trace it out. Or if you're using a compass, make a big. Circle like this. All right. This one I want I will ask you to cut it out. Okay. You have to cut this circle out. So take a round thing or take your compass, make a circle and cut it out. This is your middle piece. Okay.
if you want to make a perfect circle you have to be very proper with your how to hold a scissors okay on what angle which angle you have to be very proper so that's one big one okay so take your time slowly cut it out if it is difficult for you cut it straight straight you know like with the edges and later because of the, the line is already there that you've traced cut slowly all right maybe first you can make a square around the circle so it'll be easier for you okay those who have done wonderful okay you guys are really fast and really smart but let's wait let's wait for everyone to come with us okay All right, let's go to the next step, okay? Now that the leftover paper that you have, you can take the same paper, okay? Trace out this one coin, okay? At one edge, so you know, you can keep folding. What did I say that you need? Many small circles, right? So what you can do is you can trace it out and you know, in almost it'll be like this size. So you can keep folding it, folding it, fold the whole paper and get many circles, okay? So I'm gonna just trace this out, this coin, the small circle. Mm, I'm going to start folding it, okay? Okay, so since this is the circle, I'm going to start folding it like that. So let me try just few circles now, then I'll use this whole paper, okay? Later I can use the whole paper. So that's my one circle. I'm going to fold it again. Like this. And one more time like this okay now i'm gonna cut it out So I'm getting a lot of circles now. All right, I got almost eight circles. All right. So you have to make more depending on what we are making. You can, you have to make that many. So for now, let's just keep it 15 circles. Later, if you want more, you can make more, okay? So this was the leftover paper from that A4 sheet. I'm going to fold it again, trace the coin, and you know, I'm going to start working on it again, okay?
so that's the fold that i made and now i'm going to cut it out okay like that and i'm going to cut this out so 15 of these and one of the big circle okay that's the big end i'm going to cut this out so i almost made 24 of these small circles all right so have you at least made 10 can i get a thumbs up if you've made 10 small circles all right i need a thumbs up if you've made 10 okay mm, right no still on the process some of you made 5 some of you made 4 but i'm um, gonna give this time to uh namita do you have any question you can unmute yourself and ask me that since your hand is raised up namita ma'am when will the meeting end sorry come again namita please come again what did you say all right i think i lost her uh kristen if you have any question please ask me
Kristen. Kristen, you can unmute yourself and ask me if you have any question. All right. Okay. So at least have you made 10? Give me a thumbs up if you have at least made 10 small circles. All right, few of them are still cutting. I'll give you another three to four minutes, then we can go to the next step, okay? Okay, we'll just wait for another two minutes and then we'll go to the next step, okay? Rest everyone in the class, Kirti, uh, Kristen, Lakshit, everyone please on your videos. Okay, so five circles. I want you to show me thumbs up. Five done. Yes, okay. I can see if you do done five. Ten. Anyone ten? Done ten? Thumbs up, ten. Perfect. Okay. So for now, let's go to the next step. Okay, we can come back this come back to this step later. Okay, so I'm gonna just move and we're just gonna go to the next step for now. Okay. I'm going to keep it aside, even this bigger one. And now, do you remember that we used to make, you know, stick, long, long sticks by rolling it? Everyone remember? Yeah, so, okay, we're going to make that today. All right, many of them. All right. All right, and I think because we've done it so many times, you guys are experts in it, right? Right, you know how to do it, right? So we're going to do that. All right. So I want you to, everyone to take an A4 size sheet. Since we're going to make many of them, we're going to use smaller ones. Okay. So I want you to take an A4 sheet, fold it into half. Okay. Easy step. Take an A4 sheet, fold it into half like this. I want you to cut it out. If if now you know how to use your hand to cut it, you can do it like that. It's easier and you know, it's easier and plus, once you do too much of crafts and you're good at crafts, you know, you'll be proper while doing this, okay? So I keep doing crafts, right? So when I cut, I can cut straight, okay? It's okay if you cannot. Once you keep doing crafts and you know you're very good with paper, you know exactly how much to put pressure, you'll be able to cut it exactly half. If you cannot, it's fine. Cut it using a scissors, okay? 
circles we can still do it later okay even in the end you know once the whole thing is over you can still stick it so it's totally okay but these are very important so okay let's go to this step okay and now i want you to roll it okay how to roll if you have a paper if you have something you know that is sharp you can use them if you don't have anything thin you know like a pen refill or you know like a um toothpick you can use your hand to roll it okay the more thinner the more better all right one second i want everyone to look here and listen to me carefully the more the thin the stick the better it is okay and try that all the stick are of the same size okay that is what will make you an expert okay in rolling if you have learned how to roll the best way to learn that you are proper now is to make all stick the same size okay i'm just going to use my rest of the sheet as a base to help me for easier rolling you can do it on your table faster the more thinner the more better okay take your time don't worry okay so now everybody is asking me how many sticks i'm going to show tell you how many sticks first i want you to make minimum at least 5 to 10 okay you have to make that many and i'm going to tell you if we need more or not okay so depending on your thickness or thinness of your sticks dip you know that's that what it depends if to how many sticks you need okay so the more the thick is the less stick you need the thinner it is the like sorry the thick it the more thick it is the less you will need and the more thinner it is the more sticks you will need but the thinner looks prettier than the thick ones actually okay so you can make either one which you like i'm going to make i'm trying to make as thin as possible but uh, you know i already have made many so it's easier for me those who haven't made you can make a thick one for now and later you can make a thinner one thicker a thinner one for yourself okay this is just to learn the basics okay i'm still working on the same one because i have already made few and i want 
all my sticks to be of the same size. So I'm trying to make sure that it is all right. That is why I'm doing it again and again. Those who have already done, you guys are making it. You can make as many as you want. Okay, it is totally fine. Okay, so I have already made few. Wanna... Since I made thin ones, I made, I already made many. Okay, look here everyone. Mine are very thin, okay? So, when you make, it might not be very thin. It will be thick. So, I might end up taking more time. That is why I already made and kept, okay? Few of them. So now when you are start, you guys can start making it. Take your time and we'll do it. Okay. All right. Try to make of same. Like, you know, the circle, not the length, the diameter or how to say the round, the circumference. Okay. The circle. Okay. The circle of this should be. The, the width should be almost same size. See, mine, look at this, look at these. All same size, right? Right? So, somewhat like these. So, the more better, the more proper you make, the more better. Okay? I want you to make minimum of 20 or 10 okay let's keep it for example 4 4 4 16 okay i want you to make 16 or 20 all right or 12 so let's go for 16 for now sounds good sounds good give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs up if 15 sounds good right 15, okay, 16, sorry. 16 sounds good. Okay, so you have to make 16. All right. So even I'm I'm making more. You can continue. Okay. So for now we need these sticks. We need this one circle. We need small circle. So this is all we need. And minimum of 16, one six sticks. Okay. So try to start doing fast. If suppose your stick is fat. Okay. It's big it's not thin like this stop at 12 okay stop at 12 if it is thin you can make 15 okay so if you can just show me one stick on the screen i will show you tell you if i sh if you should make 15 or 12 okay riyansh yours is bit big okay so you can make 12. All right. Cool. Perfect. Okay. So rest one one. Can you just show me one stick on the screen? 
just one stick show me show it to me on the screen okay so sai i think it's it's think or then i'm not able to exactly tell just make 12 for now later if we need we can you can make 15 okay for now just make your target as 12 dikshit can i see come on everyone show me one stick of yours so okay rain but why aren't you working i don't know uh all right so ready i think it's thin enough so you can go with 16 okay even you also make 12 if you need more we can use you can make more okay just four more right then just make 12 for now dikshit i think it's pretty proper okay very good i'm very proud dikshit your all sticks are of same size i think 12 will be fine for you to everyone just make 12 All right, everybody, just go with twelve for now. If we need, we will make sixteen. Okay, ah, uh, Rahin, it's okay. But next time, you know, try to at least grab on some A4 sheet, white paper, so it'll be easier for all of us. Okay, no problem for now. But yeah, later you can see the class and you know, do it. Okay. No problem. No problem. Dikshit, do you have any doubt? No, right? So you can. No, okay. No problem. You can just lower your hand. So it will be wonderful. Okay. Thank you. Wonderful. All right, guys. So let's come on. Let's start making twelve. Okay. Okay, so few of you are doing very fast, and I can see if you if you're taking time. So I'm gonna give you like another five to ten minutes. Should be fine, right? Five is done. Anybody? Five is done. Can I see a thumbs up? Okay, anyone? Ten is done. 
ओके ऑलमोस्ट सिक्स सेवन एट आई कैन सी वंडरफुल गाइस यू गाइस डूइंग ग्रेट ऑल राइट so rest of you okay let's bug up a bit fast okay let's start working a bit faster let's make 12 okay
All right. So how many of you have made more than five? Can I get a thumbs up? Okay. Some of you have done full. More than five? Yes. Okay. Some of you have done six, seven. Okay. Some of you have made all twelve. Wonderful. All right. So let's just start sticking. All right. So then you can make more accordingly. All right. Sounds good. Okay. Let's start sticking. Okay, so we can do the rest. So for now, everyone, look here, please. I want you to stop working. I want you to keep these sticks aside and take your bigger circle. Okay, and I want you to do is like take your stick and keep sticking on them like this. So first, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, you know, just keep four together like this. you know opposite to each other towards the center so make sure that it's in the center it's gonna move here okay so what you can do is the thin one can be on the opposite side like this this is the thick side so just gonna hold it the other way around Okay, that's four. Then again, I'm going to take, you know, the rest sticks and I'm going to start sticking that. Hmm. Going to make it six now, like this. in a circle okay i'm gonna make it in a circle so all the thick side can go to the opposite ones and the thinner ones can be at the edge like that okay so i'm just gonna make it Okay, so just continue sticking. So I'm just gonna put here like that. I'm gonna stick these continuously like this. Okay, I want everyone to look one second. Everyone, please look here. This is how you have to keep sticking it, okay, in a round like that. See, almost all in the same angle, right? Some little bit difference is there. I'm going just while I stick it, I'm gonna stick it properly. So all towards the center like that now for now what you can do is everyone look listen to me and then start continuing your work for now stick as much as you have properly close to each other then later you know what you can do is you can make look here one second everyone please look here you know what you can do is you can stick in the middle see i can take one more stick and put it in the middle right obviously you can do that or you know what I also I can do you can make one more circle like this you can make one more circle stick these again put it over this like two three layers that will also give it a better look as a 3d effect are you understanding what I'm saying can I get a thumbs up if you understood what I said okay some of you didn't understand either you can do is take a stick stick it like this or what you can do is you can take one more circle you know big circle like this suppose can think this is the big circle okay for now okay you can take one more big circle 
stick like this around it and stick it over so you will have two three layers of this understanding now so that will give more 3d effect okay so once we make this i will tell you this again okay this idea because few of you want to listen and i can see it right now start sticking start sticking right now okay you can later continue with making the straws more okay for now just for the basic just gonna put glue in the middle and in the sides okay please start sticking everyone so you can start sticking it in a round manner okay
Hey guys, can I see your work, Ryan? How is it going? Going good. Can I see a thumbs up? All right. So you're doing all right. So now, guys, everyone, one second. Look here. I've almost stuck this. Okay. Now I'm going to just show you what's the use of these small, small rounds that we made. You can place this at the tip. Okay. But before that, I'm going to you know do what? I'm going to make another big circle. and i'm going to stick it right here to cover it up okay so either you can cover it up or you can just turn this upside down also it's either way easy okay so since i have so many of the straws it will be difficult for that one paper to take the weight right so that is why i'm going to make two big ones all right you can turn it out also turn it around okay so you can stick this at the tips of this like that so to give it a better effect like maybe in a line you can put the glue and you know you can just stick it on this line it will also be nice so i cut this stick accordingly bit small and big so that it gives a better look towards it you can cut it according to your okay according to your convenience or you know according to how the you want the look to be okay so i'm just going to start sticking it like that so i approximately got something like this the shape so i'm just going to show you half because it won't fit but anyways guys i hope you understood the class today 
all right i want two minutes of your attention everyone look here please and then you can continue your work okay so this is the class today and i hope you all understood it so i think you guys have seen this you know in uh, you know house decorations and all they put mirror in this round thing so you can actually put mirror or you know you can uh, you know paint it into so i'm going to paint this black and golden so you can you know paint it accordingly how you want you can either you know gift it to someone you know like your mother and father you can have a small family photo and you know you can stick it in the middle okay on this thing and you can you know hang some certain things and you can mount this on a wall also okay easily you can just uh, put a pin uh, or screw or something and just mount this on a wall from the middle all right so i hope you enjoy today's class can i get a thumbs up if you did all right so we have learned something new right today yeah perfect so i hope you all like the class and i will meet you uh, in the next class all right so thank you everyone i hope you had a good time and as i said you can make more sticks and apply and the second thing that i was telling and most of you didn't understand was you can make the same thing everyone look here one second you can make the same thing you can make the same thing and stick it on top all right you can make more layers so you know what happens when you make more layers those sticks will you know come see low, like come through the middle from the background like here here from the back so it will give you a more 3d effect and a different view okay so i hope you all enjoyed the class all right so i will catch you all the next class who had a wonderful time with you guys thank you for being a wonderful class all right so bye everyone bye bye you can continue your doing your work okay great work everyone dikshit riyansh lakshit everyone wonderful work okay sai kristen everyone great work bye 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 everyone